Okay. Um, I want everyone to tell me if they can hear me. Can everyone hear me? I'm going to bring my husband up for this. This is disappointing. All right. We are six seconds in. Audio. Okay. Let's see. So I'm just going to give it one more second. My children are outside the door and they are not happy. They are screaming at me. Okay, bringing reinforcements. Audio is out. All right. Um, okay. Hi, Dad. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. And I want, is there a microphone button? Hold on. My husband's coming. He's coming to help me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to close this out. Let's do this. Live, write a comment. Can I come in? Yes, you can come in. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. They can hear me, I guess. Thanks for coming up. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay, great. So I'm going to go over basically whatever I went over on YouTube. Um, I was having complications over there. People couldn't hear me over there. So I'm going to go here on Facebook. Um, I already did the drawing for the Pixar. And it was Taylor Dottie. So congratulations, Dottie. Taylor Dottie. <laughs> I will reach out to you later. Um, and I just want to thank you, everybody, for subscribing and supporting me, you know, on YouTube, making a brand new channel. It's very difficult because you have to get to a thousand subscribers in order to start making money. So it's like a home business in my eyes. Um, but the next April giveaway will be April 1st. So April Fool's Day, <laughs> if it's not canceled, of course. Um, but it'll be April 1st, and it is a catch prize for a Visa gift card. So um, I would say just go ahead and once I have it up, share again. And if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. So yes, let's get started. Um, first, I want to talk about um, why. Why are you couponing? That's a question that you have to ask yourself. Why are you wanting to coupon? Because um, for me and my family, we're a family of six. So things get very, very pricey. And I started couponing because we needed to save money. It was more out of necessity rather than, oh, I just want to save some money. It's we have to save some money. So if you want to get picky, with what you are getting with couponing, then um, my suggestion is instead of the luck of the draw with um, the inserts that are out there or the, what are they called? Um, digital coupons or the printable coupons, I would say contact your company, the company that you're into. So if it's organic or organics, contact them, tell them that you absolutely love their product, that, you know, you use it constantly, but you don't necessarily see it a lot in the inserts or in the digital coupons and that, um, that you would like some coupons. You basically have to ask them personally. Um, so if you're, if you're into organic stuff and very pricey things and things that you don't necessarily see in inserts a lot, direct, contact the company directly. That's my advice because for us, um, I go for free things and things under a dollar. I'm not a, I have to get this name brand. Um, but a lot of people 
have to because of it works for them. It's the only thing that works for them. It's for a certain condition. And that's probably going to be me in a couple of years with sulfate. I just found out I'm allergic to sulfate. So since we're on contacting companies, it is the first thing is where to find an... Oh, I have a paper, so I'm going to be reading off of it. <laughs> just little notes. Uh, first one is where to find and buy coupons. There are a handful of places you can find them. Um, if you're going to get them in hand, um, go to stores. Dollar Tree. Sell them for a dollar. But if you don't have a Dollar Tree close to you, Walmart sell them. They sell them for $3.50. And I would say go to um, gas station. There it is. That's the word I'm looking for. Go to gas stations. They sell them for $3.50 also. But um, you can also contact your local um, newspaper and they will send you inserts directly as well. Instead of the newspaper with the insert and it being that high price, they'll send you just inserts. And that's what I'm going to do after I'm streaming <laughs> is I'm going to contact um, the newspaper and ask them to send me just the inserts. And it's a dollar. So if you want the physical paper, um, Dollar Tree, Walmarts, um, what did I say, gas stations, and then contact the newspaper. Um, next would be go online. Um, there are what's called internet printables, and you can get those from the store's website sometimes. I know Walmart um, has a link for, I think it's just coupons.com, but coupons.com is the main one where people print internet printables. They work like a paper coupon, but it gets tricky because there has been a lot of coupon fraud with, inter uh, with internet printables because what people do is they'll just print out a hundred where it's the, it has the same number on it. I don't know what those are called, but um, IPs or something, but um yeah, so you have to know your store's coupon policy with internet printables. I have a, a Smith's radius. I have four Smiths in like a five mile radius. So what I do is one store will accept four. Their, their philosophy is if it scans, we'll accept it, but up to four. Another one says we can only accept one. Another one says we won't accept any. We've had too much coupon fraud. So I would say before you start filling up your cart and you have internet printables that you are going to use, ask your um, someone in your store what their policy is. Um, and then next is digital coupons. I love digital coupons. Basically, um, it is for the supermarket that you are going to, that specific one. Um, I don't know if you guys watch my videos, but the main stores that I shop at is Smith's Kroger Affiliates. And I've listed all of those out in some of the videos. Um, but what you do is you set up an account with them and you put in, they don't do cards anymore, so you have to put in your alternate ID number, which is the phone number or just any number in general. Um, and what you'll do is you will load up the digital coupons onto that. And since we're on the topic of digital coupons, <laughs> make sure whenever you go into the store, you have your alternate ID phone number with you and you have your list of what coupons are on your cart, basically, because I have gone in probably twice once I lost the, my paper that had my list on it and my phone number on it, I was like, oh, I can remember. So I ended up full, paying full price because I was stressed out. I had both kids with me. So if you are doing internet, um, hi, Krista. <laughs> if you are doing internet or digital coupons, make sure you have the list with you and make sure you have um, your phone number with you because everything can get really messed up if you don't have those two things. Now with the digital coupons, you'll um, you'll go to the coupons and it will go to, um, I'm saying um a lot, I hear it, I'm sorry. <laughs> you'll go to the internet coupons, you'll find what you want and you'll press clip. 
And then um, at the top of the screen, it'll say clipped coupons. You'll go to the clip coupons and it'll show you all the coupons that it has. And the clip coupons, unless it says so, it's a manufacturer's coupon. So that means you can't stack them with a paper coupon. Again, that falls into coupon fraud. So be very careful with that. Another way, um, I call these the freebie coupons. They're called Catalinas. Um, if you go down to Catalina.com, it'll show you which coupons will be will print out with the product that you're buying. And with X amount of products that you buy, a Catalina coupon. It's not every product. It's basically like another sale, but coming from the Catalina. Um, so yeah. Go to specific store apps, Smiths, Kroger Affiliates, Walmart, Dollar General is a really good one. I want to start getting into Dollar General. Uh, Family Dollar, Walgreens, CVS. They have those awesome rollover deals and the my bucks kind of a thing. And I really want to start getting into those. So I think those will be for my later. But I'm a mom of four kids and it's very difficult to get out. <laughs> um, next. How to read and use coupons. I have some coupons here with me. So this is considered an insert. The individual coupon itself is called a coupon. What it comes in is an insert. So on here at the top it'll state if it's a manufacturer's coupon or if it is a store coupon. So this one is a specific store specific store coupon. I can only use these at the military store. Um, and then right next to it, it will have an expiration date. Always make sure before you go into the store that your coupon is not expired <laughs> because you lose a lot of money with that. Um, and then it will tell you how much you save. So it says save $1 on Frito-Lays or salsa when you buy when you buy one bag of ruffles. So you have to buy um, a bag of chips and you have to buy a salsa or just a dip. Um, always remember to read the fine print because it's not just save $1 on the bag of chips or save $1 on the salsa. It's save $1 on the bag of chips and it doesn't say and on here. It says when you buy. So, but it means you have to buy two things to save $1. And then down here, um, always read to see it, how many coupons you can use because this one doesn't state, it does actually, one coupon, one like coupon per visit per day. So <laughs> that means you can only clip one of these coupons and use it once in the store. That's it. Um, let's go to my favorite one, which is P&G. Came out at the beginning of the month. P&Gs come out at the first of first Sunday of every month. Um, and that's the one where it's gold. All right. And as you can tell, um, whoops, the fine prints in red because they've gotten, they've cracked down. A lot of people have taken advantage. So this one says limit one coupon per purchase. So that means you can't stack. And then whenever it says limit two identical coupons, that means you can use only two of these coupons. You can use this coupon, this coupon, and another coupon. That, that doesn't stop you from, you can use unlim unlimited for the most part coupons in a store. But like coupons, I can only use two of these coupons um, for the product. And it's the waterless product. And again, it is a manufacturer's coupon. And so that means I can use it anywhere. A manufacturer's coupon, you can use anywhere. A store coupon, you can use at a specific store. I know I probably should have had props. I do have props, but I don't have coupons to match with props. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was very stressed this week. <laughs> um, so yeah, is it a manufacturer's coupon or is it a store coupon? And then always remember to look at the expiration date before you go and you shop because 
Um, you can use the coupon up until the day that it's expired. So you can use it the day it expires, but you can't use it the next day. Um, so yeah, and always read the fine print. You can use one coupon per purchase. This is a purchase. This is a purchase. These two together are a transaction. So don't have the cashier tell you that you cannot, that you can only use one coupon in your entire transaction. That is not what it says. You can only use one coupon for this adorable purchase. So, but you can only use two like coupons. So always, always, always read your fine print. It can get you in trouble. And if it doesn't have a limit on how many coupons that you can use, it is up to the store's discretion. So again, you have to know your store's coupon policy. A Smith that I goes to um, for a coupon that does not have a limit on light coupons, you can only use four. But at uh, the military commissary, they do not have a limit. So if you have 50 coupons for 50 pretzels, there you go. You can get 50 pretzels. <laughs> so again, always ask before you go into the store and start filling up your cart because it is a very sad feeling whenever you get to check out and then they tell you you can only use X amount of coupons and then you have to put stuff back and it ruins your entire transaction. So how to read co coupons. Um, yeah, know your store's coupon policy. And also know your location. Whenever you are in a not so good area, the workers have seen a lot. It's not the workers themselves. I'm going to give them that. They're probably not angry people on the outside world, but they have seen a lot of things that make them not want to help you. If they see that you might have a bad attitude or think that you have a bad attitude, they're going to immediately be rude to you. Or they see that you have coupons and then they're immediately going to be rude to you. So always be happy, be nice, don't yell at them. Easy peasy. Um, yeah, just know, um, know your location. If you're in a nicer area, the, the store is going to be better stocked and the, the workers there are, for the most part going to be nicer. There's going to be rude people sometimes, sometimes, no matter where you go, but it's always good to just be nice to people. I'm getting quite dehydrated. I should have brought up some water. <laughs> um, next is how to organize. Organization is key whenever you coupon. And I know it doesn't really seem like a lot whenever you, whenever you think about couponing, like, oh, why do I have to organize? Whenever you organize, it's always important to have a list of what you're getting, of how many coupons that you have, of the price that you're going to pay. Because whenever you get to the store and it's not the price that you had planned it, it is going to mess up your end transaction. So I have props. So this, Stay Free Pads, um, they were on Mega for a dollar sixty. Is it a dollar? No, it was a dollar seventy nine. And I had a digital, it's a digital coupon I clipped with this and it what ended up being 27, 29 cents, 29 cents. So the coupon itself was $3 off of two. So I bought two of these. Now the mega price was $1.67. So if I bought five of the participate, participating products, it would end up being 29 cents a piece. But there was a closeout sale where it made, it gave me overage. Overage is whenever, I'm pretty sure you guys know what overage is. Um, it was, um, these were 69 cents. So it gave me basically a dollar or what's my math? 83 cents overage per package. And if you are going to check out and you have a negative balance, a lot of the time, they if you get somebody who doesn't like coupons, they won't let you have that transaction. So again, know what your coupons are worth. 
know the price you were supposed to pay for it. So I had overage and thankfully the lady was nice enough to let me go over to customer service and they gave me money back. But if I had somebody else who wasn't as nice, I would have put a couple more products in my basket to, to you know, counter the overage that I had. So it was like, what, a dollar sixty overage? And so I just got two Lunchables. Boom. Overage. Um, and then I completely forgot what we were Oh, organizing. <laughs> and then these were $1.99 on Mega with $2 off coupon, making them free. But if you go to the store and they're $2.99, just remember you have a $2 coupon, this would end up being a dollar. So it's always good to be organized. Know what you, oh, thanks for liking my video. <laughs> um, know what you're getting and have your coupons prepared. And don't and make sure that they are organized to your liking. It, there's no right way to organize, but you don't want to go into the store where they are messy and you have to dig through it because that just oh thanks for the likes, Kelly. Um, you don't want to go into the store and just be disorganized. So have that, there's a accordion envelope that you can put your coupons in, um, or if you want to go completely extra, like I am, there's binder, and then you can go on Amazon to get inserts to put your coupons in. And there's two types of planning trips. There's a, a planned coupon trip, and there's a just price match couponing trip where you just go into the store and you say, hey, is this a good price? Does this match my coupon? You'd go in without a plan, but you still have your coupons organized. So that way you can see if your coupon matches a good sale. Is all of this making sense? Because I feel like I'm talking in circles. So let me know if it's not making sense and I will try to try to go back on track. Um, so before I go any further, does anybody have questions? Nobody? Yes. I'm going to give it a second. Um, so yeah, I like to use my, my binder and I like the faces people give me whenever I'm walking through the store. Nope. Making sense. Awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit less, I'm a little bit more calm during the live video than I was during my Definitely making sense. Thanks, Jessica. <laughs> I feel really sad that the YouTube live didn't work. I was brought John up here and everything to help me. <laughs> um, okay, so coupons organized, have a binder, have an accordion envelope. You're going to find what works for you. And if you want, afterwards, message me and I can send you the link to the, you know, I'm really not prepared because I should have brought up my binder. Um, yeah, I can send you the link to the inserts that I put them. It's great. Okay, next is where to find deals. So if you get the, thanks, Jessica. <laughs> if you get the um, physical paper, like the Sunday paper sold on Sundays, do you ever find coupons for produce? Yes. So let me get to... Let me get back to the deals in a second. So for produce, I would say, I think you missed that part. You would have to contact the store directly, say, hey, I shop at your store a lot, um, but I never really find coupons for produce. And then your store will send you coupons for, say, $5 on produce. But then there are some, um, you know, the bagged stuff, like the bagged salads or the bagged apples, they're on rotation with the inserts. So it's luck of the draw. On Saturdays, you can view um, what's going to be, what inserts are going to be there on Sundays. So you can see whether or not it's worth buying. Um, so it's luck of the draw. <laughs> but I would say definitely before you go crazy and buy a whole bunch of inserts, view to see if it's something that you would want or something that would you, you would use. Um, or if you'll get some freebies for it. Because a lot of the times the stores will um, 
you know the the junk mail that you get in your mailbox those show this up and coming sales and then whenever you preview the inserts on saturday you can match up the sale with the coupon before you actually go to the store so um so you can see if they have produce but for produce and for organic stuff i would say contact the people directly okay um where to find deals again with the sunday paper they will have uh sales inserts um like i said the junk mail it will show you what's up and coming on the sales and then also if you go to the specific supermarket sites they will show you yeah you will <laughs> um i have still to hear back i only messaged them or wrote three days ago if um for them to send me products but i will make a video whenever they get back to me um so i would say go to the store's apps smith's kroger affiliates um Target, Walgreens, they will always show the sale that they are having. And again, you can preview the Sunday inserts the day before on Saturday to see if it's something, to see if there's freebies or to see if it's cheap enough to where you would want to buy it. Um, so yeah, go to the stores apps. They will come in on the Sunday paper and then also the junk mail that you get in your mailbox. They, those show this up and coming sales too. I still need to go to Albertsons because I heard they're really good. And then Winco. Um, I know they have affiliates around the country. I don't know where you guys are. I always get, yeah, see? Look at those inserts because the junk mail, they will lead you to gold. And then another one is Ibotta. There's a whole bunch of cashback apps out there. There's Ibotta, um, Fetch Rewards, those are the only two that I have. <laughs> but Ibotta, you can go through before you go shopping um, what you can get cash back for and you can match the Ibotta rebate with your coupon with the sale. So I got this for free. It's usually a $6 can and what had happened was it was a $2 rebate and I had a $2 coupon and it was on um, Mega for $4. So with Ibotta, you don't get it back immediately, but you get cash back waiting for you. So it's still technically free, you just have to wait to get your money back. <laughs> um, and then with Fetch Rewards, they'll show you how many points you can get. I'm pretty sure you guys have all that. Um, you can get, um, X amount of points back before you um, with your receipt kind of a thing. So um, and they'll show you what's um, what kind of points you can get back for what kind of product. And if it's something that you actually buy, then it's worth it, um, especially with food coupons. That's one thing I wanted to talk about with food coupons. They're not necessarily the highest value coupons, but say cereal. My boys eat a lot of cereal and there's a dollar off too. So if there's a cereal that's on clearance or on sale for a dollar fifty, buy two boxes and each box will be a dollar each. So if you're not getting it for free, but if it's a cereal that your your family eats, then it's worth it. And it's the same thing if you use the product right away. Um, or a lot, um, then any amount of the coupon is worth it. A, a lot of people have told me it's not worth buying the inserts because it's not the product that I use. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, my suggestion for that, again, is to contact the company directly to ask them for coupons um, because coupons are basically a marketing ploy. They're, they're advertising, say, hey, you're going to save this amount of money to uh, for my product, come buy it. And if it's a new product, it's most mo more than likely going to be cheaper than what it normally would. So if you see a new product, always make sure you jump on it right whenever it comes out and use that co coupon whenever it comes out because that's whenever you get the cheapest price for it. 
Um, all right, my tips is plan. Plan, plan, plan your trips. <laughs> because if you go in with a plan, you are more than likely going to follow with the highest savings, where if you kind of go off your plan trip, then it's not as high of a savings. Um, so always make sure your little ones don't throw things in there or your husband throws things in there. Um, if you have digital coupons, make sure you read the coupon before you go to the store because they work just like manufacturer's coupons. And they will, the coupons, they will tell you the ounceage, the size, and the quantity. So um, just like with this coupon that I read, read the fine print. Uh, save $1 on Fritos dip when you buy a bag of chips. So the digital coupons will, will state everything out just like a regular paper coupon. And um, to always make sure you read the fine print and always plan it, always write it down and make sure you have a mental note, make sure you have your numbers out, make sure you have your coupons together because it is just chaos whenever you get to the store. None of that's together. I had Colin one time going through my binder, throwing out my coupons. And I went back to the car crying <laughs> because I was supposed to be getting a lot of freebies and he ruined the whole trip. <laughs> um, if you are in the store and you feel frustrated, um, kind of like Colin throwing all my coupons out. If you feel frustrated, regroup, leave, regroup, get your head back on, make your list back out and just replan it. Yes, I know. That is how I felt. I like, I cried. I couldn't even yell at him because he didn't know what he was doing. He was playing and he was bored. Um, <clears throat> if you're going to price check to stores, you don't need a plan. If you're just like me, <laughs> shopaholic, you like to shop, go through the stores, have your coupons with you and um, you don't need to have a list, you know, just price matching. You don't need to have a list. Sometimes I, I get a lot of good things by just going to the stores and looking down the aisles and always bring your coupons with you. Even if you aren't planning a trip that day, even if you don't plan on couponing that day, you might see a clearance item that match with your coupon that you can get for free or you can get for cheap. So always make sure you have your coupons with you. Um, and again, know your location. The not so good neighborhoods will be um, a little bit tougher on you. They'll be a little bit more aggressive in their tone and how they approach couponers. Um, we had, Casey and I went couponing one day and we had a coupon for a dollar off cat treats and the cat treats were on sale for 99 cents. And she said, I'm sorry, your coupon is exceeds the value of the product. I was just like, can I, can I give you a penny? <laughs> can I give you a cent? Because I'll pay a cent for it. I'm fine with that. And she's like, no, I'm sorry. We can't take this coupon where we went to another one and we explained it to them. It's like, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Like, can I give you a cent? She's like, oh, it's fine. It's just a penny. So know your locations, know your cashiers. If you know a cashier does not like couponers, just wait until you find somebody who's open and then go to them. I always recommend self-checkout whenever you're kind of doing a smaller haul, even if you have a bigger haul and the store's not busy and just go to self-checkout because you can see the numbers coming off. You can, you can see the, the coupons coming off and you can kind of watch as they're, um, the cashiers are scanning the coupons because I've had cashiers before act as if they are scanning their coupon and they are not, and you can't even see the screen. So, um, make sure you have your right product. So what I mean by that is you've done everything right, right? You've matched your, um, coupon and it's with a sales price and oh, it's the right ounceage, and then you get to check out and the coupon doesn't scan. Or my kids are playing downstairs, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, or the coupon scans, but it's not 
taking off the amount of money that you think it's going to. Well, whenever Casey and I were couponing, um, there was a closeout item and then there was two other products next to it. Well, somebody had grabbed one of the higher price items and put it next on the closeout aisle or the closeout tag. And it was, so it rang up full price. And so I went back and I grabbed the specific product. So always make sure you read the tag and make sure it matches with the product and then make sure your coupon matches with the product and the tag, because on the tag, it'll tell you the ounceage and it'll tell you the amount. Um, and if it doesn't say that, always match the numbers from the barcode. <laughs> Again, how crazy do you want to go on couponing? Um, always bring your coupons. If the product is something that you use on a daily basis and you have a coupon for it, it's okay to spend a little bit more on it, right? Because it's something that you use. It's something that you need. It's, I mean, you don't have to buy a high quantity of it, but let's just say this, this, if this was $10 in the store, which it is at Smith's at my local commissary, it was $2 and 64 cents or $2 and 60 cents. And I had a $3 coupon for it. I don't use these vitamins, but it was free where, um, these tampons, $6 a box normally. Um, then there's a sale and then there was a coupon. So I got each box for a dollar. There's something that we use every day. So I would have even paid $2 for this, $3 for this, because again, it's something that you use every day. People have this common misconception where I have to get it for free. Like, no, the show extreme couponers kind of give you a bad idea of what you can do with couponing. Um, yes, you can get a lot of free stuff. Yes, you can, you can get a lot of great deals, but these extreme couponers, they don't have deals like that anymore. Um, the deals that they got their, their store, they stacked their coupons uh, and the stores, they doubled their coupons where if you had a 50 cent coupon, well, your store would match it for another 50 cents. They don't do that anymore. There are some States who still have, um, coupon matching and they still have stacking and they still have doubling, but in higher city areas, I'm in Las Vegas. So they don't do that here. They're very, very strict here. So I have to get very creative. <laughs> um, and if it isn't something that you use on a daily basis and it is an outrageous number, just let it go. You know, you don't have to use that coupon just because you have the coupon doesn't mean you have to use your coupon. For me, if it's, it's kind of like the dollar tree, like it's a dollar. If it's a dollar or less for me, I usually get it. Even if I don't use that product and it's a dollar or it's less, I will donate it. I will donate it to, you know, friends and family. I will donate it to charities and I will donate to shelters. It's just, again, it's, it's a dollar <laughs> and especially if it's free. So the good thing on the, in terms of a dollar or free, I do not have a dog, <laughs> but this $7 bag of food was on clearance for five, oh, not on clearance, on sale for $5. And I had a $4 coupon for it. Well, I have family and friends and I know a lot of shelters and I got these for a dollar bag. So it's kind of up to you. And then there are another coupon I did want to talk about. I'm kind of going off track here, but it's okay. Free coupons. Again, it goes in with the free is free. I don't use these every day because I have the warmers, but um, I'm going to give them away. <laughs> but it's free. <laughs> um, and then palm olive. This is something that you do use on a daily basis, right? So there was one sale where these were a dollar and then there was another sale where these ended up being 50 cents so you use dish soap every day so the question you have to ask yourself again is why are you couponing are you couponing to save money or are you couponing because you want to get a good price on something that you already use so if it's the second one contact the company directly and ask them for coupons. You're not going to get as many and as many high quantity because with the inserts, you can buy a majority where um, if you contact the coupons, it's with the, within their discretion on how many they want to send you. 
So, the soap. Um, what else? And I think I've said this before. I don't really care what kind of brand it is. It is, for a while I got these for seven cents and then within the last sale that uh, Suave had, these were free. So I think I got a total of like 30 bottles and I have sort of them downstairs. So again, it's up to your discretion. How many do you want? Are you picky about the brand or, um, you know, yeah, I lost my train of thought there. So if you're unsure about a coupon that you have, be sure to ask before you get to your checkout register. If you're unsure, like I know some stores um, will accept expired coupons. So before it like say there's a sale, but your coupon expired yesterday, ask them, hey, will you still accept my coupon? And if it's a no, replan your trip. If it's a yes, yes, but never get mad at the people that's it's not them making the rules. Um, always be nice. Again, it's not the cashier's fault that your coupon didn't scan. It's not the cashier's fault for, you know, the product not matching the coupon. It's, it's luck of the draw. Couponing is supposed to be fun. There's a huge rush whenever you get this huge savings. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I have right now. I can't think of anything else. Are there any questions from you guys before I leave that I did not go over? If there is, just let me know. I'm going to hang out for a second. Unicorn. It's a unicorn. I'm being weird. I'm sorry. I'm thirsty and tired. It's the apocalypse, you guys. <laughs> um... I'm going to be making some videos here this up and coming week on um, how to coupon online because you know how a lot of the stores they have. Um, thanks, Jessica. <laughs> they have uh, pickups now. So you can order online. You can pick up through the store um, at the front of the store. And what you can do is you can use your coupons through that it's been 42 minutes. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. You can use your coupons through the actual site, not site, that thing that they give you. So uh, whenever you get to check out, you, your clipped coupons can go through there. But if you have paper coupons, whenever you pick up, they have to physically scan them. So I'm going to do a little bit of research on that. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have for right now. Uh, if you have any questions, message me. And again, April giveaway is going to be cash. It is a $50 Visa gift card. So we are going to step up our game. I'm hoping to get 150 subscribers by then. So again, I appreciate everybody who has helped me get to here. Um, Taylor Dottie, I will contact you later. And you guys have a good Sunday. Enjoy your apocalypse. <laughs>